it's important that the American people understand that Iran, through Hezbollah and other proxies, and hosted by Venezuela, has a base of operations right here in our own hemisphere. And the experts on Hezbollah and Iran have been saying uh, for decades that uh, Iran would never uh, risk an attack on U.S. soil. But we saw from the events recently that that's not the case. And so it's important that they understand that working through the Chavez regime in Venezuela with friendly governments in Ecuador, Bolivia, and elsewhere, the Iranians have a network in this uh, hemisphere close to our shores. So this terrorist network is being created right under our noses, and we have to have an effective policy for dealing with that. Chavez's alliances are with China, Russia, Cuba, and in a very big way, Iran. So we have an essential responsibility to the security of the United States to understand what the Iranians are up to uh, in terms of recruitment here in this hemisphere, in terms of possibly planning operations, of doing training here in this hemisphere of their operatives, and their contacts with narco-trafficking. That has implications right up to the U.S.-Mexican border, and it's important for us to understand what's going on, and more importantly, do something about it. The U.S. media, unfortunately, has treated this as Iran plotting to attack the Saudi ambassador. I don't see it that way. I see Iran plotting to uh, attack in the heart of the U.S. Capitol, in the heart of Washington. Uh, that's an extraordinary, extraordinary ex escalation on the part of the Iranians. And frankly, I just see uh, a response of more sanctions and all of that as being inadequate to the challenge.